Good morning guys, welcome back to another video here. We got an exciting morning planned for y'all. So it's about 5 a.m., sunrise is 6 a.m. And we're out here, we're about to bike out onto this peninsula. This is a Stony Point Dyke. I'll show you guys where it is on a map. If you guys have looked at kind of a map of Cape Cod, kind of where the canal is on the south side, you've probably seen this peninsula and probably thought about fishing it as well. I looked up some forums about it and heard a lot of interesting stuff, kind of just how tough it was to get on, how they've cut down on people getting on it the past couple years and there's nowhere to park. So we're gonna be parking a while away and just biking like five miles onto it. I've never been here before. This might be a little extra, but better to be safe than sorry. So we're gonna bike from up here down onto this peninsula right here. This is a Stony Point Dyke. It's a one mile long peninsula and it's kind of by the mouth of the south side of the canal, as I said. And when you look at it, it lines up pretty well with the edge of the canal. So you would think that stripers are gonna, or fish in general, are gonna be traveling along that line. And if you can surf fish from this dike right here, you'd be able to catch some fish. So that's the goal. I mean, it sounds really good. A lot of people are like, it looks better than it actually is. They fish that area on boats and haven't caught much, but we're gonna test it out today and let you guys know for sure if this place is worth going to. So y'all stay tuned. We're gonna bike out there. We'll probably take like 30 minutes. So we'll see you guys when we're out there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go. We've started the journey here. Only about like two minutes in, but here we go, here we go. I think we made it here. You can't really see anything, but I think this little road thing leads to the end of it. So we're gonna continue biking, see if we can see a little more. This thing's insane. We see some stuff surfacing, so we're gonna drop the bikes right in this path run down there i'm gonna throw around the plug i honestly have no clue where we are but there looks like a bunch of stuff surfacing there's a bunch of fish surfacing way out there hopefully we can i'm just throwing a cotton cordell plug Oh, they're way out there. I'm just gonna go for it. I should have brought stuff to wade in, but I was worried about ticks, so. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna start walking in. There's so many. I'm just going for it. Let's get some fish here. Oh. I don't want to catch a bird. I'm casting. Get up in there. Let's go. Oh yeah. Please don't hit a bird. What did they go after? I don't think they'll actually hit it. Oh, just got one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just walked out here. Got one on the plug. Let's go. <laughs> also, for those of you who watch my videos, I got to well, I took my brother's rod actually, but we got a new rod here. Here we go. This guy feels pretty small, but look at all those birds out there. There's the first one right there, just a little guy. Oh, they're bubbling up right in front of me. I'm gonna get them unhooked here. Okay, I can get that back out there. Oh, just got hit again. I'm just walking this thing back and forth pretty aggressively. Try to create some commotion. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> 
There, there's a bunch just sitting up here off of this flat. Just a bunch of little schoolies. Tyler has one right now. Oh, the birds are moving down. There's another little schoolie right there. Look at that one right there on the plug. Just a bone white cotton cordell popper right there. They're just all out here off of this flat. That's sick. Hopefully we can get some bigger ones to hit. I'm just gonna keep throwing it out there. But we're stepping up in size here, slowly but surely. How do you look down at how many minnows there are? Here we go. There he goes. Yeah. I gotta keep moving that way. Oh, there goes my plug. No one hit my plug. Do you get it? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I just cast my plug off. Tyler was nice enough to catch it for me. Thank you. Thank you. See guys, this is why I use 80 pound braid. Switch down to 50 because I thought 80 was a little excessive and then just cast off. Did your line break or did you not break? My line broke. Yeah. I mean, you can see the line still dangling. It broke at the knot, but the knot's still on there. Oh, they are hitting all around us. Oh, I just got hit. There we go. Oh, Whoa. that's on mine. Not the first. Yeah. Here's another one on the plug. We're losing visibility, but they're just popping off all around us. Here we go. I feel like this guy's a little better. They're getting a little bigger here. There's another one. That's over 20 inches, but they're blowing up everywhere. So I'm going to get him unhooked too and get back to casting. That's sick though. Right there on that plug still. Oh, he was barely hooked. Okay, we'll get a release here. There he goes. There's some water on the camera there. Okay, let's get back out there. I got a little school popping off right here. Oh, there we go. Just a little schoolie. I saw him go up into the air. But yeah, there's just schools all around us all of the there were some big ones out there we were just hearing them we couldn't see them i think tyler might have been able to see them but i was just hearing the splashes they were making all these little guys here are just kind of bubbling but there were some big ones out there hopefully we can get one of those but these schoolies are still fun another one right there there you go okay Time to get it right back out there. Here we go, guys. There's one, just a tiny, a tiny schoolie right there. Just a little guy right there. Probably the smallest one of the day, so always a good sign. There we go, we just got hit. He's gonna hit it right now. Yup. Takes him a couple seconds to come back, but they usually do. Look at that sun right there. Just starting to give it a rise. 
What's up, bud? Just another schoolie. We'll probably start heading further down this peninsula. As much fun as this spot is, we're gonna probably head down closer to the end, see if we can target some bigger ones. I don't know if it's gonna change anything, but we might as well give it a shot. There he goes. Good stuff. There's so many fish out there. So like even further than we can see. They're just all surfacing. So all the birds are the birds are taking breaks here before they go back out. There's so many fish. Oh my. We decided to go down all the way to the end of this point here. It's a lot deeper off this, so I threw on the SP Minnow Bullet. This is just a fast sinking, perfect for surf casting and hopefully we'll be able to get a couple on this guy. Let's go. It's so nice out here, but I'm not seeing any fish. I took a couple casts on this side off the point and over on the right here. I just haven't seen anything really. I saw a couple small surfaces, but we might head back kind of towards the center. We saw a bunch of uh, birds circling, um, but we decided to just go all the way down to the end and we would stop back there later. So we might head back to that part um, and try to catch a couple of fish there, but this is awesome. This is awesome. I just popped my tire, so we're walking down this road now. I'm starting to hear a lot more birds, which is a good sign, and we're getting back into the clouds, so. It should be good up here. I just tied on this plug here for Tyler. He's gonna cast it out into where all these fish are blowing up. I'm gonna try to get some blow ups for you guys on film. I'm just gonna throw the SP minnow from here. Just eat it out there. Got something small here on the bullet. I'm assuming it's just a small schoolie, but we'll see. Oh! A sea robin. <laughs> he came off. I just had a sea robin on this SP minnow bullet. He was a nice one, but I don't love sea robins. Last time I caught one, I got a treble hook all the way in the thumb trying to get it off. So they aren't my favorite, but that was funny. <laughs> yup. <laughs> I think it is another robin. <laughs> Oh, this is a big one. Oh, he came off too. There's a bunch of sea robins sitting in here. Um, I might have to switch up to a top water because it's super shallow. I'm getting seaweed every time. If I don't get seaweed, I pretty much am getting a sea robin. So we don't love that. We're heading out right now. I stopped over at this point here and took a few casts because that's where we started and I couldn't get anything. Didn't see any birds or fish, just a couple flying around and a bunch of boats are out in here. The fog's rolling in right now, so you can't see them, but they've been going by coming in to fish um, and I haven't really seen anyone catching anything. So we're gonna head out. I'll see you guys back at the truck. Hopefully the bike isn't too bad back so we got this though 